Hey y'all, I'm Marla. I'm Marshall. I'm Andrew. And I'm Brian. And I'm Jennifer. And we're here at the DeKalb Theater talking about the Kudzu Follies. It's going to happen next weekend. Is that correct? It is. We have the Kudzu Follies planned um, after two or three years of a hiatus for February, February, March 22nd, <laughs> 23rd, and 24th. So Friday night, next Friday night, the 22nd at 7 p.m., Saturday the 23rd at 7 p.m., and a matinee on Sunday at 2 p.m., which that's that's a hit. We've had lots of people purchase tickets for Sunday. I think that's going to be a, a big show. We had a lot of folks that don't like to drive at night. Right. And uh, that was brought up in some of our preliminary meetings, and, and uh, so I think the Sunday show is going to be a big hit. Yes. So this is Jennifer's first. This is, your, you've been since 2003? 2003. You've 20, uh, 2004. Right. When I started the Follies. So this is something very near and dear to your all's heart. Tell us a little bit about the Follies and what it means to you and then also what it does to help the Fort Payne Chamber. Okay. Well, the, the Follies, uh, it's a fundraiser for the Chamber and um, you know, it, it's sort of, if you've never seen the Follies before, it's like a local Saturday Night Live, I guess is the best way to explain it, except it's clean, family fun, there's no cursing, uh, no alcohol, it's just good family fun, and and we kind of pick it at hot topics in the news. Um, you know, one year we made fun of Martha Stewart when she got arrested, we had Barney Fife come in and arrest Martha Stewart on stage, and then uh, the Peter Pan peanut butter when they had all the salmonella. We actually hooked someone, they flew through here and uh, the fairy dust was salmonella that they were sprinkling on everybody. So it was just really fun. And then this year we're kind of picking on the government shutdown and we don't take a political side. So we're, we kind of make fun of both sides. But essentially what happens is Barney Fife is forced to work airport security because of the government shutdown. So you can imagine with Barney being gung-ho like Barney is, him working the government, the, the airport. And that's the skit that Marla is yeah. in actually. She's a stewardess, but Barney deputizes Otis, Goober, and Gomer. Brian plays Goober. And um, they go to the airport and then, of course, Barney gets there and he doesn't listen to Andy. He decides that he's gonna make them air marshals and actually put them on the plane. And so I think that's going to be a real funny skit. But uh, if you've never been to the Follies, uh, we really encourage you to get a ticket and come. It's for a great cause, and I promise you won't be disappointed. They're, they're hilarious, and we have a great time being in them. And we, we picked Marla to be on the, on the Follies instead of Marshall because we know she's a star. <laughs> yeah. She looks a little bit better than, than Marshall. The, it is the best out. of the best, so there you go. We have a That's high standard. They came yeah. to me for some ideas. I gave them some. They thought they were a little... Uh, Marshall was bringing a little too much heat. Right, yes. right. Mm -hmm. yes. I wanted to skip. But he, he does have a way he might convince. Yes, he can He thought help. that might be a little too over the edge. So. In our skit, we need some live animals. And I think, Marshall, you could bring some chickens if you would like to. You've got it maybe at I know where I can get some. You know where you can get some. <laughs> I got so, so, but we're, I'm so excited about this. And this is my folly debut. And I haven't got to... Uh, come to a lot of practices because I've been super busy and somebody hit me right in the heart last night on that group text that I, he was going to show up for this, unlike me not showing up for practice, oh, but good. I will well, be here. Well, no, no pressure, Marla, but no. you probably got the biggest part of the whole night. That uh, is true. Her, her speaking so part. Does she get to be in, she has the biggest yeah. part. Marla's speaking part is probably the biggest part of the father. Right. So no well, pressure. Just like feeding her ego. With <laughs> yeah. You know, Marshall is so upset because I get to MC some beauty contests because of this little thing that, you know, we've got going. And But could y'all imagine Marshall MCing beauty contests? That really, seriously. Yeah. But yeah. if he wants to do it, I know of us. I I mean, that might be entertaining within itself. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about uh, how much the tickets are mm -hmm. and um, anything. like You have a little promotion that you're going to do as well. So Yes, yeah, so the tickets are $15 for a single ticket and 25 for two tickets. We also, um, you can purchase them at the Chamber or online at fortpainchamber.com. Our number at the Chamber is 845-2741. I got it out, folks. Um, 
so you can come to the chamber and purchase tickets as well but they're not tickets you'll be receiving an email and that'll be your ticket basically or just give your name at the door now if you like this post and mm -hmm. share it and you also like the Fort Payne Chamber of Commerce page then you could enter be entered for a drawing for two free tickets and that will be done Monday afternoon and Southern Torch will do that for us. We'll do that at our practice. At our practice, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I'll, that way I'll have to show up. And I think this yeah, is the yeah, first, yeah, that'll there. make Marla show up. <laughs> and I think this is the first time we've ever given away tickets for the chamber. So this is a big deal. So that is awesome. And, um, and the money raised, let me just say that it goes toward programs that help our businesses. Um, a lot of other chambers, you know, have sponsorships for events. And we do have sponsorships, but we don't often ask for large sponsorships. So this is a way for us to raise some money in a fun way that can go back into the chamber and to our local businesses to help them grow and offer programs for them. So that is a great cause and it's something I think y'all will really be glad that you came to. It'd be a lot of fun and you know what the world needs is a little bit more cowbell. Well, they need more cowbell and more of Brian in a pink tutu. Yes, so that's and just a little snippets of what you have to look forward to. I saw. Did you see my cowbell in the back? I did. I did. They got ready. it ready. Can for you me. just go ahead and give us just a little bit of a preview of that? Man, if I if I had it, I would. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to come. You'll have to come. You have to come. You know, to I tried to get the the, uh, the director before Jennifer, who did a great job with the follies, just she like did. Jennifer's doing. I couldn't ever talk her into let me do that skit. I guess she just thought it wouldn't be that funny. And then finally, we had a couple skits cancel, and she said, okay, Andrew, you can do cowbell. So it was like two nights before the folly started, I called Brian and a couple other guys, and I said, we've got to practice. <laughs> and it ended up that year being one of the funniest mm -hmm. ones. Caught people shared it on Facebook. But Brian's skit that he's doing uh, in a pink tutu is probably my all-time favorite. Uh, it, they've had to practice a lot, and it's just a really neat skit. So I'm looking um, forward to that. When, really when, where else can you see your your council president in a pink tutu? Yes, mm -hmm. not there nowhere. you go. Not, not too many places. No. I and hope I'm, to see that. And I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of Snapchats and a lot of you know. I like to take a lot of pictures, so. Look for my Facebook page. You'll see a lot of the, you know, the pink tutu, the cowbell. I'm going to focus on all things follies for the next week. And so we'll, right. we'll, we'll really put a lot of pictures on. Yeah. Let, let me just say this. You know, we can get up here and act all night long, and it, it might be funny to us, but if we don't have people in those seats, mm -hmm. uh, we're doing it for nothing. And I, I want to say Andrew and Brian have put a whole lot of time and effort into this. And we need to support them. I mean, it's they're doing this for the chamber, and it's they're volunteering their time, uh, and they put a lot into it. And I want to pack the place out, and I promise it'll be worth your time. It's hilarious, and I want you guys to support Andrew and Brian and the entire cast, just like they need to be supported. It is a huge cast. I mean, every time I, when I come to practice, there's we don't all practice together until next weekend. So I mean, next week. But I, how many people are involved in the Follies? Probably 40. Uh, probably. We, we've, we've got some of the folks that have been, been with us for quite a few years that are coming back this year. Uh, uh, naturally, there's been more over the years that have been in the Follies. But with such short time to put everything mm -hmm. together, we, we reached out to those that we knew was willing and able to get out here and do whatever they could do to make the, to make the crowd laugh. About and Brian's it. right. You know... Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful way to support the chamber and all the things they do to promote local business in town. And so if you're looking for something to do next Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, please uh, go buy two tickets. You save $5 if you buy two and, uh, and come out and, and laugh with us. When, when the crowd gives us feedback, it, it kind of gets us pumped up. And uh, I promise you, uh, you won't leave disappointed this year. No. No, I'm looking forward to it. So like and share this video and go along and like the Fort Payne Chamber and we will draw for two tickets. First time ever they've gave the tickets away. And you'll get to see me in my my Follies debut. You won't get to see Marshall, but you know, there you go. But anyway, like and share the video and we look forward to seeing you next week. Thank y'all. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.